In Bakhmut area, Russian forces lose almost 4,500 people in two weeks. In the area of Bakhmut, the enemy lost almost 4,500 Wagner fighters and regular army soldiers killed and wounded in two weeks. Every day, he carries out from 40 to 50 assault attempts said Deputy Chief of the Main Operational Directorate of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Brigadier General Alexei Horomov. To date, Bakhmut direction remains the most difficult, where the enemy continues offensive actions in the central part of the town of Bakhmut, as well as in the direction of Bodanivka and Ivan Kivsky settlements in order to surround the city from the north and south. In order to strengthen the offensive potential, a part of the enemy's forces and means has been moved to Bakhmut area from Avdiivka direction. Every day in the area of Bakhmut, he carries out from 40 to 50 attempts of offensive assault actions, more than 500 attacks using the full range of available weapons, he said at a briefing. As emphasized in the general staff, the military political leadership of the Russian Federation does not pay attention to significant losses. Haramov noted that, over the past two weeks in Bakhmut area, the enemy has lost almost 4,500 Wagner fighters and soldiers of the regular army of the Russian Federation killed and wounded. In addition, in some units of the Russian army, the mobilized military massively refused to participate in hostilities. The refuseniks are brutally dealt with.